Community development comes in many forms. Especially on a campus as big as Virginia Tech, there are many ways organizations are working to benefit and develop the community. The Black Student Alliance, better known as BSA, has been working for years to bring inclusivity and cohesiveness between both the black community here on campus and the entire student body as well. Uh, BSA throws a variety of events. We have concerts, we have speakers, we have programs, we have movies, um, forums, um, novelties, and squires, a variety of things. So, like, name it and we've done it. Um, I feel like, especially my position is we're trying to, like, you know, um, show the rest of the campus what black culture looks like and we're trying to, like, provide an inclusive atmosphere for them and just have them be comfortable and um, so we can improve race relations here on campus. And, um... I think we do, we try to do a pretty good job of that, of just like making sure we like program for everybody and just have people come out, you know, and have a good time. Good. Although BSA has felt they've done work to capitalize on the A, which stands for alliance in their name, they do feel like there are problems holding them back from reaching as many students in the community as they could. People feel like they can't come to BSA events because they are not black. Um, but we welcome anyone to our events. We would like to sh have diversity at our events. They're just to educate and entertain people on black culture. It's just the name. Um, the Black Student Alliance, that is a very stifling for a lot of different students on this campus because once you hear black in the title, you automatically think that um, we're either an all-black organization or we only tailor to one community, um, which has been very hard to combat because, like, we wouldn't change our name, um, but it's like reaching a different audience and letting them know that, like, although we are named the Black Student Alliance, we cater to the majority. But for every problem, there is a solution. This semester, BSA created a public relations campaign to inform and encourage non-Black students to join their efforts. Um, some of the things that we do to combat that, we have our big uh, campaign, You Don't Have to Be Black, um, and so that targets... Um, everyone on Virginia Tech's campus and essentially letting them know that you don't have to be black to join BSA, you don't have to be black to come out to um, our events, um, and we welcome anyone and everyone who is down for our cause. Collaborations between other organizations on campus seems to be another way BSA looks to expand its reach into the community. Um, we work with a lot of different organizations outside of BSA. Um, we've worked with Hokie Pride before, we've worked with Bach before, um, MPHC, um, it normally entails us holding programs or holding forums, um, and that has been really beneficial um, to different communities. We do a lot of things with the MPHC. We do things with SOB and SAS, Bach, Black Organizations Council, mainly cultural organizations, but there's a whole semester left, so lots of room for opportunity. After it's all said and done, members of BSA, as well as other black organizations on campus, are interested in the same thing, inclusion and letting people know what it means to do work with their organization. We love inclusion. We like to teach different people about black culture. Um, we love programming and entertaining, and you shouldn't be scared to come out, try new things. Uh, we're very passionate about our work, and we're very determined to change the culture on campus. We're trying to like let people know that you don't have to be black to be part of BSA. You can enjoy all of our programs. We program for the entire like Virginia Tech community, not just the black community. We serve you guys, so anything you guys want to see, let us know, and we'll try to get it for you. Whether it's preparing for next semester's spring concert or engaging in community forums and discussions, BSA, along with other cultural organizations on campus, have been working hard to develop community relations between different groups on campus. This is Bria Cook reporting.